And we are now on to our final interview of the day. And we're with James Madison Dukes head coach, Mickey Matthews. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Perhaps the, the best for last. We'll, we'll, we'll see yeah, we'll how, see how it goes. Well, we do know, speaking of, of best, uh, you do have a lot of offensive weapons coming back. So I want to start there. And I want to ask you about the explosive running back on your team, Daquan Scott. Uh, what are the expectations for him coming off of 2012 where he's well, scored eight touchdowns? Yeah, it's a good question. The, the biggest thing Daquan's got, he's got to stay healthy. He's really put up good numbers the last two years. He's only played roughly 60% of the games, which is an amazing. Uh, he's up, he's, his numbers in the weight room are up. He's up to 215. Uh, we think he's a candidate for the National Player of the Year, because, but he's got to stay healthy. You know, Daquan's a guy, he's never done anything half speed in his life. And if you're around him on a day-to-day -day basis, he's very hard worker, very competitive. Uh, we think he's lined for a big year and we're really anxious to watch him. Well, the guy that's going to be uh, handing him the football, sophomore quarterback Michael Birdsong, he came in and was very effective uh, last season. What, how has he been in the offseason training for this year, and what can we expect out of him? Well, Michael's a guy, everyone asks me what I like about him, but what we like about him is he has so much ability to play the position. I mean, you know, God don't let you have Birdsong. He got 6'5 and 240, and he has a great arm. He's very competitive much more athletic than one would imagine being that tall. Uh, he just has, he has a lot of ability to play the position. And I'm sure that, that, you know, we think the sky's the limit for the guy. I mean, you know, he, he's certainly gonna make some young mistakes from time to time, but we really feel like he's a good player and, and it'll be all be a positive thing to watch him this year. I'm gonna switch over to defense because I know James Madison prides <laughs> themselves on that defense. Uh, you were second in total defense a year ago and in 2013, you'll uh, put fear in a lot of opponents because Stephon Robertson is back, the CAA preseason defensive player of the year. Well, we think Stephon's the best player in the country, but we thought that for two years. I mean, he just, if they'll stay in bounds, he'll tackle. You know, what we discovered last year, as the season went along last year, he's also a very effective blitzer. So he's a guy that has very good numbers. He's probably been hurt a little bit because we've, to be blunt about it, we've been so good on defense. He's been surrounded by so many other good players. Sometimes his numbers aren't as good as you would think because he has he's surrounded by good players and, and he doesn't have to make every tackle. You know, you look at but he's the he's the reason we've been so good. I, I think he's a great player he's, and he's physically tough, very competitive. The expectations are, are always uh, very high in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Yeah, they are. Uh, what are your expectations for this season for James Madison? Well, we, you know, we I've been surprised how you know we've been picked fifth. I, you know, we have 17 starters coming off of 7 and 14. Normally, you'd be preseason top 10 in the country, you know, so I'm really not for sure where all that came from. But uh, it shows you probably the depth of our league this year, I would assume. But we, we in Harrisonburg, the bar is very high. You know, we've, I like to tell people the, the best description is, you know, we've created a monster in, in, in Harrisonburg. You know, we, we get great crowds and a lot of enthusiasm, and people expect us to win, and, and certainly, you know, our, our players expect that and our staff expects that. So, but we're very aware of what's, you know, what the expectations are in Harrisburg. We, we're reminded of it every day. I bet, I bet. And finally, wrapping things up with Mickey Matthews, you brought in Mike O'Kane as your new offensive yeah. coordinator, quarterbacks coach. Yeah. What type of uh, changes can we see uh, with him on staff? Well, I, I think my, when I hired Mike, I, I, we discussed, you know, what about Bird Song and the direction we needed to go. And, and I think really Mike has a good, he went through the spring evaluating our people. Uh, Mike has always been a very effective play caller, mixing up the run and pass. And I, I would expect us to be probably a more multiple, not near as much options we run because of the quarterback. And I don't think that's the, uh, I don't, Mike knows the option, but he's more of a play action uh, coordinator and throw the ball down the field. And, but we're, you know, like I, said, I think the biggest thing people can say we're going to throw the ball so much more than we've done in years past because of our quarterback. All right, it's all very exciting. Well, I know you, you got some expectations that are high in Harrisonburg, and uh, we thank you for joining us. No, thank you for having us. Mickey Matthews, head coach of James Madison.